Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Tuesday Morning Mortgage Coach Coaching Call. We're here to deliver the nation's best weekly sales meeting. My name is Dave Savage. I'm the CEO of Mortgage Coach, and we are very committed to helping every loan officer deliver amazing mortgage experiences for home buyers, and to do that in a way that's incredibly valuable to realtors. Uh, before we get into today's content, I just wanted to put a little attention around Dan Rawich's morning update in Rate Watch. Uh, for those of you that have not downloaded Right Watch, make sure you download it. Every Mortgage Coach member has access to this, and it's the same login as Edge. So in the bottom right-hand corner of your Edge login, there's a download button. And if you have any other questions and you can't figure it out quickly, just email support at mortgagecoach.com. Looks like uh, we've been trending pretty flat for the past 10 days when you look at the moving average. But why I wanted to draw some attention to Dan's update was I just thought this was a really strong message of the day. You know, every morning Dan gives us the morning update and he always gives us a thought of the day. And today his thought was small wins create a strong desire for more and bigger wins. So do something this morning that will create a small win. And I, and I love that. I mean, it aligns around Bill Hart's new effect. It aligns around something I've been um, doing personally and leading my sales team to do is get a win as early as you can in the morning so that it drives to more and bigger wins. So following up this call, hopefully this call will be a big win, uh, but get a big win, get a small win and turn it into a big win. So for those of you that are new to the Mortgage Coach community, make sure you connect with us on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. We're a network of innovators and we hope that you will engage with us on, on our social platforms. All these coaching calls are recorded and put into our YouTube channel. If you have not already subscribed, just go to Mortgage Coach YouTube channel, click in that subscribe button, and every time we put a new video in, you'll get an update. So last week we had an awesome coaching call with Anthony, and we had special guest Todd Duncan. Had a really great dialogue with Todd. He delivered a lot of value. He talked about his upcoming 10 City Tour. I'll remind everybody again towards the end of the call on how to get signed up for that. But what I wanted to do, I wanted to make sure everybody got a follow-up to that Todd Duncan Edge video that he promised during the call. And it is truly excellent. I mean, the wisdom, you know, it's only four to five minutes, but the ideas that he shares around how you should be scripting your conversation with home buyers around total cost and how you're turning your unique value proposition as a mortgage coach loan officer as something that's valuable to realtors. I think Todd crushed it. It's four to five minutes of just brilliant scripting, very practical ideas that will help you win more home buyers and get a whole lot more referrals from your realtor partners. So if you haven't already, listen to that video. Just put Todd Duncan into your mobile app or click on the link from our Facebook page. Again, really important, every member goes through that. So again, on our Facebook page, there's always a great conversation going on with innovators. And that makes me want to showcase a great testimonial that came in from Jeff Nunley. And he put, this is what he posted on the Facebook page, but to me what's more important and even more exciting was the voicemail he left right before he posted this. And, and to me, this is why we do these Tuesday coaching calls, to evangelize ideas that are working, to help you guys get more success in the market. And this is what it sounds like when the light bulb goes on. When, when a mortgage coach loan officer really starts following some of the advice that we're providing, delivering these experiences to realtors and home buyers, this is what success sounds like. I'm going to play a voicemail that Jeff left for me uh, minutes before this post and see for yourself what success sounds like and a great idea. Jeff Nunley, sorry to call us so late, but I got so excited. I've had seven appointments today. And all of them relate into what I'm now calling the buyer's edge. Um, man, I'm telling you, when you make an effort to sell the edge report as the tool that keeps everybody on the same page, as a tool that's fully interactive, where if somebody can be sitting in the driveway of the house they want to buy, and they already have an edge report, and you can make the change to customize the house, the realtor can see it, they can see it. You know, that's what takes the clarity. 
people are eating out of my hand. And I think, honestly, realtors are now at a point where uh, we're so clear about it, they're actually going to feel guilty <laughs> than their clients to do business. If they know that they're going to be giving them less of a service, doing them less of a job for them, um, if they don't send their clients there. So, man, I think I finally got it. And I just want to say thank you again for this great piece of software and the clarity and all the things you're doing in the market, all the things you're bringing to the table, because it's changing everything I do now that I really get it. And I'm going to write you a great testimonial, and I'm not used to it. Bye. So, I hope you guys can hear what I heard. I mean, the the tone in his voice, the excitement, because he is having total cost conversations with his customers, he's delivering an edge report, which everybody on this call has, and he is talking to his realtors how his advice makes a difference, and better yet, he's able to show them how his advice makes a difference. He's, he's showing them a mobile experience. He's showing them a video every time they get a referral. So uh, hopefully that's an, uh, an encouragement and a push for you to start making sure that you're ceasing your realtors on every edge experience to make sure that you're creating that expectation with them that your advice is different and then to make sure that you're following through and you're actually delivering a different level of advice that increases their fire conversion rate and makes the relationship even more efficient. One more great idea that Jeff, he left me, a, by the way, he apologized for leaving me a message so late. Mortgage coach members, you want to leave me a message like that with a success story, call me anytime. Leave the message. I appreciate it. It's awesome. Uh, you know, just gets our internal team excited, and I can bring it in these calls. But another strategy that you talked about was that, remember, these edge links that you're giving to the home buyer, that's like the home buyer's personal website now. So obviously, at the beginning of the loan, you're delivering the advice, the recommendations for the loan. But you can you can update the video. It's I mean, it's very simple to update that video. So one idea that Jeff is going to be experimenting with is where he's updating that video along the process, sending an email to the client. By the way, your your edge your edge home buyer report is updated with your you know your approval voice message. So using this as a way to communicate, keep everybody on the same sheet of music. The home buyer hears it, the husband, the wife, the realtor, everybody's always on the same sheet. So you can just as a reminder, you can create multiple videos over time that make that very efficient. Realtors love that and they love Edge. So make sure you're sharing it. Hopefully that was a valuable takeaway. By the way, Don, any I'm going to bring you in formally into the call in a few minutes, but before we move on, any any quick takeaways from you on that or any similar experiences that you're having? Can you hear me, Dave? Mm-hmm. Um, absolutely. Um, I mean, you have a lot of great testimonials from some great producers and everything, but I'm telling you, I, you know me, I, my entire team uses Mortgage Coach on every single proposal, and you've heard me say it many a times, and it's in my uh, takeaway, is that if you want to use a Mortgage Coach Edge, we will own you, plain and simple. You're sending out GFEs versus what we send out, and I'll go over a little bit more later. It, it, there's nothing like it. It's a distinct advantage, without a doubt, buddy. Right on, brother. Well, hey, I look forward to bringing you in in about five more minutes and walking cool. through your unique process and all the all the great things you're doing. Excellent. Thanks, bud. Right on. So uh, I wanted to bring in another great story from the trenches. Hans Brunner, who has really become a personal friend when I lived in Sonoma County, him and I would meet up uh, at one of our local favorite uh, taco places. So, Hans, I miss the days meeting you in uh, uh not great. And where where did we used to meet again? Was it in Kernville? Hans. Well, hopefully Hans will unmute himself in a minute and join the call. So Hans, let me know when you get when you unmute yourself and get in the call. But I asked Hans to come in because he went and got um, a Jeffrey Gittimer certification, and I'm a I'm a huge fan of Jeffrey Gittimer. In fact, he created a great. Um, I don't know, I don't want to call it a testimonial. It was more of a passionate teaching around his advice, his vision on how to build trust and total cost analysis several a few years back. Um, Hans, have you been able to join the call yet? 
So Hans, you probably have it muted on your end. Um, you know, why don't you, Hans, are you there? I'm, I'm here. You, you got me now? I got you now, man. Good. It's good to have you in the call. Cool. Um, sorry, that was a, we were, we used to meet at Forestville at Rosa's. That's right, Forestville. <laughs> well, you can tell it's been three years and I have no memory, but uh, I, I missed that and we'll have to do that again next time I'm coming through Sonoma County, man. Yeah, um, so sorry, I was trying, I was scrambling to unmute myself, so I kind of missed that last question. Yeah, no, no problem, man. Well, hey, I want to bring you in because I want you to share some of the takeaways that you got from spending two days, or I'm not sure if it's two or three days with Jeffrey, but as a mortgage coach leader, I would like you to do that. Um, you know, before we do that, I want to I want to do a big shout out just how how proud and what an inspiration you are. This is a, a before and after shot of Hans. So on the left, at least my left, uh, this was Hans. How long ago was this, Hans? Where the before and after? Um, it was from September 2013 until uh, January of. Uh, 2014 was my journey of weight loss. And, and how much weight did you lose over what period of time? Uh, 72 pounds um, in about five, six months. Wow. That, I mean, that is, I mean, that's such an inspiration. Again, you're just a great example of a mortgage professional and a leader in the mortgage coach community that's just raising the game, raising the bar. Real quick before we get into the Jeffrey Gittimer takeaways, what was kind of, you know, if you don't mind sharing, what were a couple of your whys? You know, why, I mean, there's probably a lot of reasons why, but what are a couple of the top ones as a mortgage professional, why you, you went on this journey and you, you lost this way? Yeah, I just, um, you know, I'm just kind of sick and tired of being sick and tired. Um, I just was, it, it just felt like I was kind of going through life asleep. Um, you know, I was successful. Um, I had, you know, great family and all that stuff, but um, I was just out of shape and I was not into it. And so I just decided I needed to make a change. Um, so I did. <laughs> right on, man. Are you, are you riding skateboards more now? I am not riding skateboards more now, but I will be in this summer for sure. <laughs> for those of you that don't know, Hans has quite the skateboard collection. Uh, all right, man. So hey, one more why before we get into the get or takeaways. I know uh, one of my goals is every time I bring in top leaders to really talk about why they're using Mortgage Coach because I've identified that the, the folks that get the best return on investment, that win the most business because of Mortgage Coach, it's because they have a really passionate why. I mean, you don't need to read this out loud, Hans, because I put it up there for everybody to read it, but you know, just highlight real quick, what are some of your core whys, why you are using Mortgage Coach and you're a Mortgage Coach member? Well, actually, um, it's kind of interesting because um, at, when Jeffrey Gittimer, when I met with him, he explained to us or he walked us through a little book called How to Sell Your Way Through Life by Napoleon Hill. And in that book with 28 characteristics of a successful salesperson. And I was looking at it and trying to put it together with Mortgage Coach. And there's about 60% of the traits of a successful salesperson will be handled if you just use Mortgage Coach. Um, it's, it's that powerful. Um, it's, it's showing value. It's, it's showing you, it's showing the client um, that you care. It's showing your knowledge. It's showing that you're a professional. I mean, it's, it's kind of amazing the number of, of, of boxes you can tick off with that. But my biggest, biggest takeaway is that not only do I care and I have the knowledge and I share that with the client, but it saves, it's a huge time saver when, I'm, when I don't have to sit down with the husband and then later sit down with the wife. Um, I prepare, you know, it takes me 10, 15 minutes to prepare one and shoot the video. And then I do that once and, and we're good. If we have questions, they're high powered uh, questions. Right. Um, so, so first of all, thanks. I think everybody got some takeaways just within that, that uh, why in itself. I'm not actually, I think I have the book. And I'm definitely, you know, a big fan of Napoleon Hill, but I think I need to read it again. Yes. <laughs> uh, why don't you, you know, I know Jeffrey is a big fan of Mortgage Coach. And for anybody who has not watched this video where Jeffrey shares why he thinks Mortgage Coach Total Cost Analysis 
is a core foundation for mortgage professionals to win trust and win business the right way. So Jeffrey believes in that, and you could go to our YouTube page and hear what he says and how he says it yourself. But Hans, what were some of your takeaways that you'd like to bring back to other mortgage coach loan officers? Uh, you know, how, and by the way, did you spend two or three days? How many days was it? Um, three and a half days. Um, well, in, in perfect uh, get em or style, 3.5 days. 3.5 days, and how many people were in the room with you? Um, there was only 33 people getting certified that, that time. It was the, only the third time uh, that he's held this get or certification. And first go-round, he had like 80, and uh, second go-round, he had 65. And the third go-round, uh, lucky for me, um, there was only like 30, 32, 35 people. So I mean, you had a really intimate setting, sharpening the sword, what would you bring back and share to other mortgage coach loan officers that you think would help them, uh, you know, be so more successful in today's market? Well, um, one thing that uh, that Jeffrey espouses is he says, uh, you know, it's it's what's in the mind of your client. You know, don't um, it's perceived difference and perceived value. So you may be different and you may be valuable, but if your client doesn't perceive you as different and your client doesn't perceive the value you bring, then it's worth, you know, nada. It's, it's worth nil. And, um, and I think that, um, you know, I mean, it, it kind of resonates with me when, when I mean, you got to put it in there, you've got to really be into it, and you've got to know, you got to you got to kind of jack yourself up and be ready to go when you create your video in Mortgage Coach, and you got to do it with passion, um, and then you'll only have to do it once, you know? Right on, right on. So for anybody who's on this call and you're, you're not, you don't know Jeffrey Gittimer well, again, I highly recommend you sign up for his, his emails through Sales Caffeine. You know, make sure that you, you read some of his books. They're fantastic. I do think he's one of the most important authors of our generation. He's one of those authors like a Napoleon Hill that I think people will be reading his books, talking about what he teaches, uh, you know, 50 years, 100 years from now. Really, you know, takes complex concepts, makes them simple, and really delivers a lot of value for everybody. And now, Hans, you're now a certified Gittimer training. What, is, what does that mean? Uh, it means that I'm that I'm uh, certified to teach a class in yes attitude, um, a class in customer loyalty, a class in sales, and a half. Uh, those are all full day classes, and a half day class in networking, um, as well as I'm able to sell his products. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to integrate that into my mortgage business, or as a you know as a sideline. Um, but I, but the takeaways in my mortgage business are huge and worth it. Just that even if I never teach a class. Got it. Well, cool, man. Any, I'm going to bring uh, Don into the call. He's a special guest today. But any last takeaways before we kind of wrap up this part of the conversation? Yeah. One of the biggest things that Jeffrey says is uh, trust begins with liking. And when, um, and when you create a mortgage coach video, um, you're there and you're likable and you're delivering value to the realtor um, and the borrower. And I think that's, that, that's huge. Well, I like that one, and I agree with it, and I get lots of feedback every day from loan officers that actually do it that would support that. And uh, I guess I just tell everybody who's on this call, whenever I pull you guys, I, my guess is that 30 to 50% of you are creating that video, and 50% are not. And usually it's because you, know, you just don't like yourself on video, or it's a new habit, it's hard to do it. Create, make a commitment, create five to 20, and you'll never go back. The feedback that you'll get from your customers, how much it will improve your skills, again, you just never go back. So for anybody that's on this call that's not doing what Hans just said, come on, get busy, uh, create a, an edge video today. Remember, this Thursday at 9 o'clock, if you don't know how to do it, we'll teach you how to do it, we'll help you do it. So Hans, thanks. Feel free to stay on this call, Hans, um, as I'm going to interview Don Getling. If you want to ask Don a question or you want to add some color around something he says, uh, you know, why don't you consider yourself a co-host for the rest of the call with me? Okay, thanks. Great. So again, make sure you watch this. I think it's just a two, yeah, it's not even three minutes. It's two minutes and 44 second video where Jeffrey himself talks about a mortgage coach total cost analysis and how that creates trust in business.
Make sure you subscribe to his um, his weekly blog. And now it's time for the guests. Mr. Don Getling. Don, I know I've had you as a guest in Mortgage Coach Coaching Calls. I don't even know how many times. How many times have you been a guest on a call, bro? I don't know. Probably about a dozen or so. And very proud of it and glad to be part of the uh, Mortgage Mortgage Coach uh, family. Well, it's good to have you here. You know, whenever I do this kind of prep, I always look for some pictures of the guests. And I usually try to, I always, you know, start usually with a Facebook picture or some type of professional picture. And then I, I look really hard for some type of kind of personal picture. What is this person's hobbies? You know, what do uh -huh. they do when they're not working? And usually, you know, I'll have to tell you, it's hard to find great pictures that I can just know I can throw up that tell who this person is as a human being and that they also won't be embarrassed. I just, like, know I can throw them up. But I'll have to tell you, bro, it was hard to find a professional, like a, a picture of Don in a suit. It's like I go to your Facebook page and I'm like, does this guy work? You know, I mean, it, it looks like everything you do, whether you're work, whether you're playing, you're always having fun, brother. I mean, is that is that just the way it is, or are you just, you know, pick, you're like posing for great pictures? No, I'm a blessed man. I have a great wife and a great group of friends and a great office. So, yeah, I'm surrounded by great people that make my life uh, very fun on a regular basis, and that's by on purpose. Yeah, well, again, just like you did. Anybody who doesn't know Don, go check out his Facebook page. And this guy constantly inspires me to have more fun and to make you know just the day-to-day -day life of business as fun as it can possibly do. I mean, so, so one thing I'm trying to create a rhythm around because I'm just so passionate that this is a difference maker between folks that really get the most value out of being part of the mortgage coach and the folks that don't is their mortgage coach why. And, and again, I ask everybody on this call, you write down yourself. What is your why? Why are you on this call? Why do you pay us money every month to, to be part of our membership? Why? What's the, what do you get out of that? And, and Don, you get, don't read this out loud, but before we get into that call, I just want everybody to hear your why from you personally. Well, I just want to back up Han. Han was dead nuts on with, he was talking about the, the value of, of Mortgage Coach Edge raising the bar for us, and that's what we—that's our job. I mean, after 27 years being in this business, um, I've learned that my give back uh, to my clients and to my partners is to provide, you know, valuable information and guidance. We're actually supposed to just not do a loan, but guide them. And Mortgage Coach Edge gives the opportunity to do that in a clear, concise, beautiful, and compliant platform and it, it's amazing and like Han, the backup Han, the video piece, <laughs> it's funny at the bottom of this thing I spell good as God, but it has uh, helped us raise our capture ratio, I'm guessing by a good 50%, exponentially in any case, um, by utilizing the video because the, this day and age everybody's, um, you know, inundated with so much information that they don't trust anything anymore, so you almost need that video for them to know, like, and trust you, and so you can sincerely let them know what their options are and that you care and that you're here for them to help guide them down the right path. And if you're not using the video, um, you're crazy. I mean, it is amazing. And if you don't like yourself in the video, like Dave said, practice. Believe me, we, I'll talk more about our radio show. If you went back to our original radio show three years ago, not so good. But now we've uh, perfected it, and we're, we're much, much better, and I think you'll get much better on your uh, videos and be well worth it because people need to know, like, and trust you. That's my uh, <laughs> four right, cents. Right on, my man. So, so you also have a, a journey of weight loss over the past, you know, I don't know how many months, but if you wouldn't mind just for inspirational for everybody, you know, when did you start losing weight? Where are you at today? And tell that story real quick. I think it's inspiring. And it will help us all be better salespeople and better, better leaders to our family and to our customers. Um, well, thanks for sharing this, Dave, because it's actually not just me. And what's really nice, Dave, is our entire office is committed to um, joining this particular gym called Afterburn Fitness. It's a CrossFit gym. And we've all committed to improving our lives and therefore being better uh, workmates, better partners to our 
wives and our children and everything else because now, um, shoot, our office, Dave, in the last year has lost over three, about almost 350 pounds. Um, we all joined this 60 day challenge where we lost 150 pounds in 60 days between six of us. And uh, that's about as lean as I'll ever get. My goal today was to try to get zero uh, to single digit of body fat before I turn 50, which is this year. Um, and I hit, I exceeded my goal, which was 8% body fat, and was able to hit 4.8% body fat. Wow, man. So how much weight over what period of time? I lost 33 and a half pounds myself in 60 days. Gina lost 40, Scott in our office lost 50, Shannon lost 30, uh, Mike in our office lost 55 in 60 days. It was amazing. Amazing commitment by everybody. Absolutely amazing. Woo! Right on, man. So, bro, that, I mean, pumps me up. I hope it encourages and inspires everybody on this call. And uh, Don, really appreciate you sharing that story in today's call. So, yeah, it's not a bragging thing, Dave really has helped our whole office with our energy and our focus and our commitment without a doubt throughout the entire office because of this. So it's, you know, you hear it all the time on calls and you hear it all the time from success magazines and you and everybody else that it's important and it, it has really helped all of us out. Well, that's fantastic, man. Thanks for the inspiration. Now, before I, I know you've got some slides and you're going to walk us through a conversation that you want to share with everybody. But I know, I know you're also really passionate about being a, lo a leader in your local community. You know, you, you, you have your own radio show. You're always giving back and you're always making a difference. If you wouldn't mind just sharing kind of your vision around that. I know you've got some slides and you want to get into it in a minute. But just give us a high-level perspective on what you do as a radio host and why are you a member of the Real Estate Radio Network. Uh, well, thanks for asking, Dave. Um, you know our, our good friend Ron Quintero really didn't give me much of an option about three years ago. He says, you're perfect for this, and this is what you need to do to help grow your business, because he was working with a guy by the name of Craig Sewing that was building his business uh, quite a bit by utilizing radio to reach out uh, to more potential partners and actually just to reach out more to your community as well and the radio has given us that opportunity to where we have literally gone from and you'll see this in the slides later but we have gone from 12 to 15 real estate partners that were sending us business on a regular basis to well over we're probably over 60 now uh, real estate partners financial planners CPAs insurance planners everything because nobody and this is not a cocky thing Dave you know me I'm I'm as, I'm been humbled like all of us here on the on the on the call. It, it's just nobody says no to radio because they need means to reach out to their clients and expand their horizons as well and reach out to more. And we're giving them an avenue to do that. So when we give an opportunity to share their story and how they can help others, whether it be in the community or whether it be helping them buy or sell a home or their insurance or financial planning. We're given an avenue to do that, and it's been phenomenal. We just hit our three-year anniversary last week. Right. Um, well, congrats on that. Thanks for bringing that leadership. For anybody that is interested in the Real Estate Radio Network, just go to realestateradiohost.com. There's a video that we'll share from my, you know, one of my absolute best friends in the world, Ron Quintero, who's the CEO. Uh, He'll walk you through what that opportunity looks like. There's a questionnaire that you can fill out if you're interested. So really encourage everybody on this call to find out if radio is right for you. It's not right for everyone, but for, for some folks like you and a lot of leaders in the mortgage coach community, it's, it's a fantastic way to create amazing content, connect with leaders in your local market, and to, and to connect with the, the best realtors, the best financial planners, the best you know, advisors in your market. It's a fantastic strategy, and I hope you guys will check it out. So, Don, I'm going to pass you the screen because I know you've got some things you want to share, and, you know, the next 30 minutes is all yours, my brother, and I look forward to sitting back and learning from you. By the, by the way, I'm not seeing your screen. Jacob, do you see where Don is logged in at? No, I don't see him logged into the portal. 
Okay. Yeah, so, so I think somebody else jumped on my um, email address, so that portal got messed up. <laughs> got it. But so I didn't see something to ask me to share it either. No, no problem. So we got a plan. Be ready to roll. I'm gonna okay. open up. Actually, I got him, Dave. Other, and you just tell me. You got me now. When yeah, I got. Move slides. Hey, Dave. I got him. He was over in the attendee log. Hang on a second. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, I see it. And we're in, Don. We're seeing your screen. Go ahead and go to presentation mode and we'll verify. Um, uh, let's see. We'll try monitor two. All there right. we go. Full Seen screen. Looks, looks great, Don. Hey. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jacob, as always. And if you guys don't know, the, the team that Dave has, and Dave's one of my best friends as well, he's guided me through my entire career in many, many ways, and Jacob and his team are always there for us to make sure we understand mortgage coach and, and have it at the top of our game, and you guys rock, by the way. Thanks. Well, thank you, Don. Thanks, that means a lot coming really to you. really appreciate it, bro. It's an honor to be a friend and to have had a role in your amazing career. Okay, so basically um, what I'm going to present is basically some strategies that's working for us right now. Um, and I'm also going to talk a lot about team. Everybody's, you're going to hear that a lot. I'm sure you have been hearing a lot. And our, our industry has changed, obviously, and it's become a little bit more difficult and challenging at times. And therefore, if you don't have a team behind you, it makes it a lot more difficult this day and age. So I've been very fortunate to align myself with some great partners in Gino Franti, who's down 100 pounds now, um, part of the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show, and Don Tosinovich, and Shannon, and Sue, and there's a great team here that's amazing that's making a difference for us here at Cherry Creek. So today, let's see if I can get, there you skip that. I was hoping to go down. There we go. Okay. So today, real quickly, uh, and Dave, you please chime in because you always help guide me down the right path with these type of things. You and I talk about this stuff a lot. I'm going to go down five ways that I've been leveraging, our whole team has been leveraging Edge. It's a distinct advantage. We've been already talking about it on the call. You've heard a lot from Han and Dave and myself, but I'll go through some of the strategies we're using. And then Dave already kind of hit up a little bit, obviously, and that what we feel right now is one of our best door opening strategies because I don't know about you, but I don't know of anybody out there that doesn't need more purchase business. Um, so right now, the Real, the Real Estate Radio Network and our radio show is opening doors like crazy, and it's the best way to get them the door. And I'll explain that a little bit in, uh, more in depth. And lastly, I'm going to share with you something that took me, Dave, I'm a little slow learner, obviously, um, but it took me about 26 years to kind of figure out. Um, a new streamlined system for our processing platform, and I know a lot of the top producers are using something similar, but I'll share that with you because it has literally allowed us to now close 99% of our transactions on time or early, wowing the customers and reduce stress. So how does that all sound, Dave? Love it. Sounds fantastic. Okay. So the five... Um, tools that we're using for mortgage codes right now. Obviously, the total cost analysis, which you, when you compare the total cost analysis versus traditional GFE, there is no comparison. Um, I'll go into what, how we're using rent versus own analysis. It, what I want to touch on is I know you see a lot of total cost analysis. I know most of you out there probably use it 90% of the time, but maybe you aren't utilizing these other um, avenues that are, have become integral in our growth right now, especially with uh, developing stronger uh, partnerships uh, with our referral partners. So we'll go into the rent versus own analysis, the cost of waiting analysis, the value of using uh, the edge in a refinance scenario, especially right now, the number one thing we're doing right now, and I'm sure a lot of you are, is eliminating mortgage insurance. Now we finally got this e-word that we haven't heard in about seven years called equity. So we're able to show them the real savings despite their interest rate possibly going up. So that's where EDGE really makes a difference. 
And then maybe a lot of you didn't even know or haven't used the Mortgage Coach Open House Flyers. They're pretty simple to use, and we've been using them, and I think you should too. Sound good, Dave? Okay, I'm just yeah, going to move on. Sorry, I, had it on, I had it on mute, sorry for the, for the delay. <laughs> no, man, no worries, it's all good. It just keep on rolling. Okay. Okay, I mean, I'm going to, this is like beating a dead horse because I know a lot of the calls, and I'm on these calls quite often as well because I always get pearls of wisdom from you, Dave, and a lot of the great presenters you have. Thank goodness for you in the, in the group because we need to be constantly learning and evolving and improving, and you guys help a lot with that. Um, so it, basically, we all know about the total cost analysis. When you present this, and I just took a snapshot of it, this type of a scenario, versus a good faith estimate, there is no comparison. We, we really don't have any comparison. When we throw this out there, in fact, I know but one of the top speakers that speaks at a lot of these events came up to me and goes, I'm tired. You'll like this. He's a, he'll be speaking at Mastermind. He's a top leader. And he goes, I'm tired of getting beat out on, um, against the same customers because you keep sending them that darn mortgage coach saying, I don't know how to use it yet. Can you show me how to use it? And this is one of my top competitors. <laughs> there so, is no comparison. So, hey, Don, real quick, I do want to touch on this because I get a lot of, uh, you know, just conversations with whether it's a new loan officer and a mortgage coach or a loan officer that's just, they're not crushing it. And, and sometimes what I find is that the way that they're, you know, the questions that they're asking, call it, you know, Todd Duncan's high trust interview. You know, there's things that you need to do before mortgage coach. And then when you position a mortgage coach report, there's a way that you that you follow up to that in a way that you walk people through it that makes it brilliant. And so, um, again, some of the scripting Todd used in that Edge video at the beginning, he talks about how to position and frame it as a total cost analysis. Most loan officers just, you know, rate hack, quote rates, tell you I can get you this loan, this loan, with these fees, and they give you, you know, make a fee worksheet. Um, I give you a total cost analysis. You're going to get total transparency. You're going to see what the, what the different options are over time. You're going to get some options how to pay off your mortgage faster. Uh, and then also the questions that you ask. Asking questions like, how old do you want to be when your home is paid off? That's not a question that most home buyers get asked. Uh, so just the fact that you ask that question, that's a differentiator that delivers unique value. And then you follow up to that question, well, based on the loan that you're in or the loan that we're getting, how old are you going to be? And typically there's a gap. They, if they're in their 30s, they want to be in their 50s, but the reality is the loan that they're getting or the loan that they're in, they're really going to be 60. So now when you deliver this total cost analysis, it's tailored to their personal goals. So I just wanted to you know, provide that teaching that how, what questions you ask, how you frame it, and then how you tailor it to the customer's goals and needs is critical. And if you haven't watched that Todd Duncan, you know, just put it in your app, Todd Duncan, click on the link. Todd really crushes some amazing scripting to help you with framing that. Again, not just with the home buyer, but now framing it with the realtor is equally important. If you just loop in a realtor, you just CC it, and they're like, what's this? You know, that's, that's not awesome. You know, you're at your, if, if, however, if you framed it, they get the email, they click on it, and you let them know that I'm delivering your home buyers a total cost analysis. I'm keeping them updated in an efficient way so you don't have to play phone tag with me and you always know what I presented to them. That's valuable. That's awesome. So sorry to jump in there, but I just, I get those questions all the time, and I wanted to get that out there, Don. No, you hit the nail on the head, Dave. And, and something I, I love what you just went over, Dave, and instead of just going, we have a cool tool, use it, there's a lot more to utilizing Edge and Mortgage Coach in general, but it, it's strategizing. Nowadays, I'm sorry, our consumers are a lot more intelligent than they used to be, and they have means to find information. So therefore, we have to be really at the top of our game. So I know my team um, is done exactly what you're talking about. We work really hard on it. We strategize a lot, meaning we strategize on how we talk to our client up front. We strategize with our real estate partners, meaning how do you want us to cross-sell you? Here's how to cross-sell us. 
here's the advantages of your clients utilizing us, which therefore gives you, you the advantage to negotiate better on their behalf, help them get their offer accepted when there's multiple offers. These are all the tools that go into play, plus there's transparency, which is more imperative than ever. Without transparency, you're toast these days. So the Mortgage Coach Edge allows us to do that. Therefore, we're confident when we speak to either our real estate partners or the potential client, knowing that we're more prepared than anyone out there. And good luck if you work with someone else, because you're working with the best right now. We'll show you why. And it's a confidence that Mortgage Coach Edge gives us, Dave. Right on. So, so anyways, it's great to have you sharing, sharing this and, you know, keep rocking, brother. All right. So strategize is important, guys. It's really take the time to script. Like you said, Todd Duncan taught me my script and changed my career. Absolutely changed my career by going to Todd Duncan and learning how to duplicate myself and utilize the high trust selling. Um, it's changed my, my career. Okay, um, here's basically a, a sample of a rent versus zone. This is kind of a no-brainer. We're utilizing the rent versus zone, and I'll show you next the cost of waiting analysis to help fence sitters. You have a lot of people that are confused about the market, whether the rates are going to go up or down or if um, prices are going up or down. And we are utilizing the rent versus zone or the cost of waiting analysis I'll show next to help motivate them to take action now so they don't miss an opportunity. It's not just to help them sell, you know, help your agent sell quicker or help the buyer buy quicker. It really is to help educate them on what they can potentially be missing out on if they wait. So here's obviously a standard rent versus zone that we highlight. Here's what you're paying in a more, you know, rent payment, $1,800. Do you realize that your net payment on a home is going to be less than what you're paying for rent? Do you realize you're going to throw away, what's that? Do you realize you're going to throw away $115,000 in rent potentially versus having a potential of over $200,000 in net worth over the next 10 years and so forth? So these tools we're actually now aligning with our real estate agents, providing these for them because agents need content. They need ways to communicate with their potential buyers and sellers to educate them and they get tired and they can't just sell, send something out all the time and says, hey, you want to buy? You want to sell? We need to give them opportunities to reach out to their clients and educate them and these type of things um, like the rent versus home own, and here the total cost analysis showing them how much their payment could increase by just if the rate went up 1% and how much purchasing power they would lose. And then we help them clarify what that means, meaning losing a, the school district they want to move to, that losing that extra bedroom for Johnny, not getting that third car garage, not getting the pool and so forth. So these are helping us touch on their emotional side. Wouldn't you agree, Dave? Totally, totally, totally agree. And, and also, you're presenting um, your realtors with an entirely different value proposition than an average loan officer. Most realtors, you know, one of their big pain points with home buyers is they either one, you know, they convert one out of seven of them into a transaction, and two, they're like herding cats. You know, they go through seven realtors, they, you know, spend a lot of time going around looking at homes. So for those realtors and for those home buyers that need some help knowing why are they buying. You know, cost of waiting is great for a move up home buyer, like why should you buy now? This is why. For a first time home buyer, why should I buy now? This is why. And when you can answer that why for the realtor and you can create a sense of urgency, first of all, that's different than every other loan officer that they're working with. They don't know how to have that conversation. They don't know how to present those options. And two, it's better than every other loan officer that they're talking to. So when you can be different and better than all of your competitors, <laughs> I don't know, makes sense to me. I know it's con it makes us pretty confident when we're out in the market, that's for sure. Um, here's a, just a typical you know, refi analysis. Obviously, you can really show them their true savings and their savings over time. I love the analysis, Dave, where you can put in their savings back into the mortgage to show them how much faster they can pay down their home. Um, their true savings over time, and that's the difference of just here's an interest rate, is it lower, is it not, versus here's what you're really saving. And once you, you lay this out to them in black and white, or really now, these pretty graphs, it's a no-brainer. It sells itself, and it makes our job that much easier.
And then lastly, here's the mortgage coach, a little sample of a mortgage coach open house flyer. Very simple, same terms that you use. What's nice is once you have your real estate partner's information in the system, it, all you're doing is basically making up a total cost analysis and bingo, it's ready to go. All their picture, their logos, your logos, all that's in there and you can make these up in no time. So make sure you're utilizing those because the numbers matter. So just be a little different out there. So that's what I got for the our, our five ways that we're utilizing um, Mortgage Coach Edge to separate us from the uh, competition, Dave. So, so kind of a quick thought for anybody that's on this call and you're like, I know that, I'm doing that. Uh, well, hey, kudos, and hopefully you got some takeaways. But we all know knowledge is power, but unless you take action on it, it does not create any great value for you. So if you're on this call, you're a Mortgage Coach member, and every single home buyer that you meet with is not getting a total cost analysis. If you're one of the ones that, when I ask the question, are you integrating how your borrower conversation is unique, or let's just say different and better, if, are you integrating that into your real estate conversation? If you're one that says yes, then that was a review, and it was some inspiration. But if the answer is no, I would just tell you what Don laid out is career changing. If you go from not delivering these to every buyer, from not integrating your buyer conversation and how it's unique and better with your realtors. This is a game changer. If you take action, if you adopt these habits, it will improve your success levels, it will improve your confidence levels, and you'll be more successful. So I just hope, while this was a review for probably 30 to 50% of you on this call, 30 to 50% of you, this was game changing, career changing content that could help you really go to the next level, and I hope you'll take action on it. So um, I know, Don, you're going to get into another part of how you deliver value, but I just, you know, I know for a lot of folks that was very much a review, and I just hope that everybody got some value from that. Well, the key is, are they really using it? Because uh, it's very easy to just only use the total cost analysis, but these other avenues are helping us build um, purchase business. We all need more purchase business. We need more partners. You can't get away with four or five that are sending you a boatload of business. That's just not out there because there's not enough inventory in most of our markets. Therefore, you need more avenues to potentially send you business, and this is a great avenue to differentiate yourself. I mean, Dave, we're so confident. We lost, and you can ask Jacob, we kind of panicked. We lost our uh, account for a day for some reason. Um, and a switch over between one account to another, <laughs> and we panicked. We we're calling Jacob because we were afraid that we were we were quoting two of our uh, top buyers, and we were afraid that we wouldn't be able to send out our mortgage coach analysis in our competition May. So we were hammering Jacob to please get our account back up, so in case the competition was going to be sending one out, we didn't want to miss out. So that's how confident we are in, in utilizing Edge for all our clients. Right on. The next part was basically just reviewing, Dave, what we were talking about, that you know we all need avenues. And like you said, radio is not for everyone. Uh, I happen to have the face for radio, so it works for me and Gino. Um, but it's actually become one of the most fun things we do every week. And it is, a it is a business plan that you have to implement every week. You have to. We have to show up on the air every Thursday from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m., now two hours. We do a finance hour and a real estate hour, so we have to be prepared every single week, and it's been a great business plan for us, and it's opened up tons of doors. I mean, look at these, some of these faces you'll recognize. A good, of course, Barry Abib, Todd Duncan's been on here, Elliot Eisenberg, Mark Thompson, our number one DJ in LA, he's been on three or four times. Um, Neil Weichel, he's in the top, he's a top REMAX agent, one of the top REMAX agents in the nation, number one in our valley since 91. They don't say no. They come on on a regular basis. Um, it's allowed us to develop our own website to communicate with them. We have 150 full show videos, 350 um, YouTube channel um, videos, um, just all kinds of ways to reach out. We even went so far as to build our own media studio called the Vault Media Studio in our office here in Cherry Creek. Uh, so we now, what's cool is all these guys that come into our show have to come to our Cherry Creek mortgage office and meet our team, get to know us, know where we're at. They feel pretty obligated to have a little walk through and get to know us and 
Coincidentally, after two or three times on the show, they tend to start wanting to work with us because the radio does add credibility as well. So it's been a great avenue for us, Dave. Anything else you want to add on Real Estate Radio Network? Well, I mean, it, it is such a game changer. I mean, if you have a, you know, a successful practice, if you want to be an industry leader, if you have passion around creating content and you're confident about having those conversations, I mean, it is just so, again, career changing and powerful to be able to have a platform like a lo local radio show. I also think it's interesting how you've taken that to what I would say is an even higher level where turning your office into a, a media studio. I noticed the green screen so you can bring yep. in real players and record other types of videos. So you're, you're really a media leader in your local market. And, and so you're attracting the kinds of realtors, the kind of advisors and professionals that, that are attracted to that. So I just think it's interesting how, how, how far you've taken this. I mean, this is last time I interviewed you was over a year ago, and it looks like you've taken it to an even another level. So I think this is a big shout out to the strategy of not just being, you're having a radio show host and being a real estate radio leader, but turning your office into a, into a media center so that you're a, you're a media leader to all the local professionals. I just think it's, it's fantastic leadership, brother, and we just need more mortgage leaders like you in our industry so to elevate you know, the professionalism and the reputation that we have as an industry. Well, sometimes, Dave, you just got to be like Nike and just do it. And that's what, you know, Ron Quintero and you have helped me do. And, you know, Ron, one thing I can say, too, is being part of Real Estate Radio Network makes it all different. If you think you can just go and start your own radio show, maybe. But the guidance and direction and assistance that Real Estate Radio Network gave us made it so much easier. We, our learning curve was tenfold. We've seen a lot of shows come and go because they don't have the guidance and direction that we get on a weekly basis from Real Estate Radio Network. So it's been phenomenal. The green screen has worked out well because like you said, we can bring in agents and they do their videos right there. So we're adding value back to them because if you don't add value, why should they work with you just to do loans? You better have that figured out already. Yeah, well hey, one more shout out for Real Estate Radio Network is another part of that value proposition is helping you get sponsors in a compliant way and helping you, you know, generate revenue, you know, turning your radio show into um, either a break-even or a profit center. I don't know what the Well, actually, Dave, is. what it's allowing us to do by aligning with some of these top professionals around the Valley, it's going to take our database in the next two months from about approximately 1,500 to over 25,000. Wow. So, yeah. so now, people that yeah. know, like, and trust someone in this group, we're talking the number one family law attorney, bankruptcy attorney, assurance, uh, financial plan, they're all the guns too. They're not just newbies that want to grow their business. They're the best of the best and we made sure they were by interviewing them on the radio and now we're all lining together to create more value for all our clients. Makes a lot of sense, man. Cool. All right, I know we're almost out of time, so real quick, how do we make all this happen now that we bring in all this great business, huh Dave? Yeah, exactly. How do you close loans on time and on budget? <laughs> All right, this is where I said I'm, you know, a little slow sometimes because, you know, we all go through the typical processing system where you go and find yourself a really good processor like this and that can handle everything. They can open a loan or the appraisal, handle title, handle the loan officer, handle the agents, handle everything. Somewhere down the line, the conveyor belt breaks, especially at the end of the month when you go to your processor and go, hey, how's my new loan going? They always answer like this, always. Do you want your loans funded or what? And you're like, well, of course they do. That's how I get paid, and that's how my real estate agent gets paid. But what about my new loans? Well, I'll get to those as soon as I fund all the loans. We all know that that seven to ten days is what bites us in the you-know-what every single month. So you're on that rabbit trail going back and forth every month trying to make up for the time you lost. So what we've done is we've taken this stressful non <laughs> the system that breaks down all the time to basically streamlining. We've now broken it up into pieces, and I'm sharing something that's worked out really well for us. So I'm, um, oh, we're opening up our uh, our vault of knowledge here for you to help others because now we have it broken into pieces where somebody is an opening manager, and all their job is is to open that file as fast 
and compliantly and smoothly as possible. And then it gets handed off to our processing team that are the best transaction specialists I've ever seen. Basically, they're, they're underwriters. And they process the entire loan as quickly as possible without having to worry about opening it. Well, now they don't also have to worry about closing it because we have a closing manager that walks them through the closing piece, which is usually where we tend to not land the plane where we wanted it to because we're too busy going on to the next loan, loan and therefore we don't walk them through when they need to sign, how much money they need to bring in, where they need to bring in, how to bring it in. Well, that's what Dilza does all the way through. So we've got an amazing team that is less stressed because they get to do their job and they're only their job and do it really well and it's allowed us to literally close um, all but two loans out of hundreds of transactions in the last two years. So, Don, are you still there? Can you hear me? I'm here. Okay, I had some weird noise that jumped in. So, you know, what, what strikes me, Don, you know, I mean, this has been a great interview. You know, you've, you've provided a lot of a great reminders no matter where you're at in your career. But this final slide of yours where you really lay out that you've got a system. You've got a way of doing business. It's a great follow-up to our coaching call last week where we had, a, you know, both Todd and Anthony. Anthony talked about documenting your playbook you know, having a documented sales process. And what you've done is you've, you've obviously got a documented sales process. You obviously have great selling systems, but now you've packaged this in a way that's part of your value proposition to realtors. I mean, let's face it, this slide that we're looking at, you didn't make this for today's coaching call. You didn't make this for your internal team. You made this so that you could showcase what a great system, what a great company, that you can deliver predictable outcomes for realtors. And, and, and you're able to show that to them early in the sales cycle so that they're like, wow, these guys have it together. You know, so, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's pretty obvious why you're so successful. You, you, I'm sure you have an amazing culture. I think that's obvious from the pictures. I, I think it's <laughs> obvious that you've got an amazing system to deliver predictable outcomes for, your, for the customers both realtors and home buyers. And obviously as a mortgage coach leader, it's pretty awesome uh, what you're doing. So I mean, I love it, brother. I'm gonna do a couple wrap-up slides and feel free to you know chime in. Uh, no problem. I do urge anybody who's seriously thinking about Real Estate Radio um, and, and being a guest to go to realestateradiohost.com, watch the video, fill out the questionnaire, make an informed decision if it's right for you. And, and I recommend for everybody on this call who you know, you are a loan officer who's trying to get business from realtors. Hey, I know I go through this almost every week, but until I have, and when I do the survey questions, 95% of you say, yes, I'm looping in the realtor. I'm going to keep doing it. That's what coaching and that's what a meeting is all about, is to remind you what you need to be doing. Every home buyer gets a good faith estimate. Most loan officers deliver fee worksheets. Still, the yellow pad is the most common way that loan officers do a prequal and deliver advice and rate hacking. Anytime you just shout out a rate, saying I can get you this rate or that rate, here's your points, here's a good faith, that's not delivering advice and value. Home buyers want a mortgage coach edge experience. Every single home buyer that I've ever shown it to, that I've ever heard from, is like, yes, I appreciated that. I like it. Obviously different, you know, not all of them look at it on a smartphone. But many do now, you know, 30 to 50% use the smartphone to get advice shot. Realtors, realtors are out in the field, so not CCing the realtor, not framing how your advice is unique and different is just a huge missed opportunity. Realtors want to get your advice on their mobile devices. Realtors want videos, and everybody on this call, everybody that comes to these weekly meetings, you all have edge. So, so make sure you're using it. Make sure you're CCing the realtor. And again, as a reminder, like every week, we're here to help you. Uh, we've got a fantastic support page. I got in our, our stats from Jacob Gibbs, the leader of our support organization. And by the way, I don't even, they're not the support team, they're the wow team. You know, over a 96%, um, you know, uh, great service report. So out of every trouble ticket we get, People actually check it and say that was fantastic. Industry average is in the low 80s. You know, when you look at most technology companies, you look at most sort of support organizations, 
they celebrate an 80% satisfaction report. We're 96%. Really proud of our WOW team at Mortgage Coach. So hey, your assignments for everybody, make sure you watch the Todd Duncan Edge video. Real simple, click on the link on, on Facebook or put Todd Duncan in your mobile device. Make sure you watch that Get Jeffrey Gittimer video. Two point, you know, two minutes and 44 seconds, know how to create trust. And, and make sure that you join us at the Sales Mastery Tour. Todd and myself, or Joe Petur, are gonna be at 10 cities over the next few months. If you're driving distance from any of these cities, I expect to see you there. And if you're not, hey, I think it's worth flying in for the day. You know, I think, well, again, that depends on whether or not you're gonna listen carefully, take notes, and take action. Content's worthless if you don't take action on it. So also, just a reminder, Todd's Mortgage Mastery Club, you get 90 days, comes with signing up for that. So he's got some great, uh, when I talked about how important it is, what you say before a TCA, Todd covers that. So again, real three simple assignments from today's call. Reminder, every Thursday, 9 o'clock, we'll show you how to do things. So all those five strategies that Don walked through during his content, if you don't know how to do any of them, we will teach you this Thursday, 9 o'clock. And if you've not created over 20 TCAs, show up to the Friday basic training and we'll teach you how to do that. So, so hey, Don, we're at the top of the hour. Um, real grateful for the time you took to prepare. I want to remind everybody this call will be recorded and it will be in our YouTube page within hours of this call. So uh, if you didn't watch the whole thing or you want to watch it again, watch it. Forward it to another friend. If you're, if you're a branch manager, listen to this call with your team. Uh, again, you'll have it as an asset within an hour or two. Uh, Don, you get the last word. Any last parting words before we wrap up today's call? Just a thank you, Dave, for you and uh, your team. And of course, you know, Quintero and Todd Duncan, you guys are, uh, have changed my career and my life, and you guys are just great friends, and I'm blessed to have you in my life, sir. Right on. Well, hey, bro, you changed your life. We just gave you some ideas, and you took action on them. So, man, without you, uh, we couldn't do what we do. So I'm grateful, Don, and I look forward to having you on the call soon. Yeah, I look forward to it. Thanks, buddy. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Let us know what you thought of today's call. I just launched a poll survey as you go on a scale of good to great. What did you think of today's call? Take care, have a fantastic week, and follow through on the assignments that we gave you. See you, everybody.